items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck! We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, blood stools, feeling of emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. Welcome! My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Questionnaire on the computer. Otherwise, I can't open the doors, or turn on the lights, or feed you. jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Thank you. I'm super glad you're not... Hi, my name is Martin Tweed. Now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for... 
This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations! You're home already! Whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use Survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. Oh, it's chilly. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. Every time you return to 
to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. The sun shines down on another beautiful day. It's a perfect time to hit the park and kick the bag around. functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. to some indigenous plants from around here. I wonder what they grow on. Hello. 
thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. The exploration efforts. to 99.1%. So, as long as you don't die 49 more times, it's all good. Yeah. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself. 
yourself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. <laughs> hmm, I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice.
Food replacement gel taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob. Eat with the mob. Replace your food with bra. It's considered a plus nine petrol cluster and is not cleared for non- While there's nothing in the world I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you could rejoin your loved ones, should you have any, this remains impossible until you find a suitable fuel source on the planet. Ambient temperature 81 degrees, biosigns nominal.
to make the attempt. The jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not. The cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. Oh. <laughs> 
resources required to craft the boost pack, you'll be capable of limited flight. A bit like a chicken, but with more pollution.
Tijuana. Meat scraps, fat and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the snuggly playmate from Slimo. to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear.
allow you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. Shopping complex. Complete. Aware of your presence. <laughs> Engage in fascinating examination of standard Earth activity. Or declare a Black Friday. And send your shoppers into a violent bargain hunting frenzy where only the strong survive. <laughs> Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Bio signs nominal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
anti-nutritional value. Oh, cool! We find what appears to be an alien feces, and your first instinct is to just pick it right up. I mean, I think we could use it as a sort of natural adhesive, so... I guess we're flinging poop now? sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. Before you jump in, Kindred says I need to read you a 400-page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. I speed read. new jetpack is that you can use it horizontally to dodge creatures such as this one that might seem a little aggressive.
did your best. It wasn't very good, but it was your best. Hello! Welcome back! The sun shines down on another. Ambient temperature 81 degrees, bio signs nominal. Oh. Huh? 
Tijuana. The Grab and Go Superlicious Mega Morphological Food Base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with Platinum Slurp Plus, Nutra Minerals, Power Booster Edge 20 Million. Rock, anatomically reconfigurable Nano Plus. the alloy back. Perfect. I will now be able to complete my repairs on the javelin, which will eventually allow you to leave this planet. Better still, this particular alloy seems to be capable of crafting many different upgrades. I have unlocked several new blueprints in your 3D printer. It's like Christmas over here.